True story, Michelle had an accident. We're having a game night at Dana's and everyone's been drinking so things start to get a little competitive. And Michelle is drinking Jack and Coke's Hardcore. Hardcore. We're playing Celebrity, which is a charades game and we're on the second round where you can only say one word to get your team to guess the celebrity. Michelle got Justin Timberlake and her word was sexy back. The other team erupted saying, that's two words. That's not fair. Sit down. Your turn's over. That's cheating. You're not playing correctly. Actually, sexy back is one word. It is the title of a song. Duh. Michelle was furious. She takes to the internet, Google sexy back, and she won't talk to any of us. All she could say is, sexy back is one word. It's the title of a song. An hour later, everyone's gone, but Michelle is still at the computer. We're like, Michelle, uh, we're going to bed. Yeah, party's over. But she wouldn't stop obsessing over it. She's like, sexy back is one word. It's the title of a song. Sexy back is one word. It's the title of a song. Sexy back is one word. It's the title of a song. Sexy back is one word. It's the title of a song. Sexy back. Is one word. It's the title of the song. Is that because anybody has more? It's the title of the song. So Michelle sleeps in Christie's bed because they're adults that like to have sleepovers. Okay, no, it's because you had a guest over and my bed is better. It's the middle of the night. We're all asleep. My door opens and Michelle drags her drunken self across the room. My guest is like, don't wake her. It's dangerous to wake a sleepwalker. We watch her walk all the way to the corner of my room, also known as the corner of responsibility. Dana's corner of responsibility is a bunch of junk. Bills, clothing, and other crap that she doesn't have time to get to. It should just be called the pile of procrastination. Anyway, Michelle proceeds to pull down her pants and piss all over my chair. Jack and Cokes are flooding out of her urethra. In my defense, her chair was white, like porcelain. I dart out of bed to stop her, but my guest is like, no, she's too far gone, leave her. When she's finally done peeing, she picks up one of my t-shirts, wipes herself, pulls her pants up, walks out the door, and closes it behind her. At least she's polite. The next morning, Dana had to break the news to Michelle, who was like, what? And Christy, having slept through the whole thing, was like, what? And as Michelle cleans up the corner of responsibility, we talk about what happened and vow never to speak of this incident again. But we just told the internet and the internet's forever. It's, it's fine, it's okay. True story, Michelle had an accident. I may have peed on a chair, but I think we all learned a valuable lesson. Sexy back is one word. starts screaming, let's play! Dana grabs her firefighter friend Nate to be her partner. She's like, hey, you will be my partner. You got big muscles. And then Nate's like, yeah, yeah all right, okay. Oh, muscles. 